Oh, let's see what happened. Just happened. Yes, right. So wait, are you dizzy? Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Wait, Jack, what the heck are you doing? Look, he, he was just stressing over Olivia, okay? When Kevin grabbed me, he, just, he shouldn't have done that. But I'm sorry I lost it. Lost it on me? You knocked me across the room. I said I was trying to get Livy, and I said... Who the hell do you think you are? Doc, stop. Please, just I wait. I told you, man. You don't want to mess with me. Look, all right, just, just, just chill. Just chill. I right, just cool down. Okay, all right. The important thing is keeping Livy safe now, That's okay? what I'm trying to do. She's safe right here. No, she's not safe. Caleb can get to her no matter who's guarding right, that door. Because Caleb is a vampire. Yes! Look, I know this is hard to believe. Okay, and I wish I could explain Explain this. as if there's an explanation. The point is, Livy's in danger right this minute. So you think the lighthouse would be better for us? Lucy, please, yes. don't encourage this. But Caleb can't get to her in someone's home. But he, but he can't a hospital, any kind of public building. Do you know how ridiculous that sounds? It's fun we had to tell Livy what Caleb is. We are not telling her anything. Then I'll do it myself. I'll go get Livy, and then I'm going to take her away. over my dead body. Dr. Collins actually has his daughter locked up in one of our rooms? With his father watching over her. That's the rumor. And she's not sick? Not as far as I know. It's got to be Jack. Dr. Ramsey. Bob, hey! I got the results of the test. Oh, no, no, yes. not here. Dr. Hodder to ICU. Dr. Kathleen Hodder to ICU. Okay. Well, what do we got? I compared the sample of Abe Curlin's blood with your brother's, just like you asked. And? There is an unidentifiable element in both samples. <sighs> Are you sure? My lab works pretty thorough. And this element, is this what's responsible for their superhuman strength? Well, that's hard to say. I'd have to run several more tests, and for that, I'd need more blood. Oh, no. Is that a problem? Well, yeah. I mean, the old man's six feet under, and Jack isn't very cooperative. Too bad. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I'll figure something out. I have to figure something out. I mean, if we can bottle this, we'll make millions upon millions Code of dollars. Yellow, east. Hey, what are you doing here? They asked me to cover a shift. And you said yes? That surprises you. Well, it went up at one time, but now that you have a brand new bride at home. Well, that brand new bride is happy to be rid of me for the moment. Uh-oh, lover spat. Difference of opinion. Well, I'm guessing uh, this isn't over what to name the baby. No, it's not. It's about some guy. A guy? Mm-hmm. A guy who's taken a liking to Eve. A guy who's moved in with us and whose twin brother is a madman. So this is the famous Eve. What can I do for you, Caleb? You could invite me in, for starters. What do you want? I was looking for my brother. Uh, a little bird told me he was staying here. Well, he's not here right now. But my husband is. You mean the guy that went tearing out of here a few minutes ago, like he was late for the fire? He's coming right back. Ah. I get the feeling I make you nervous. <laughs> not in the least. Good, because I'd like us to be friends. I've heard so much about you. Likewise. All good, I hope. Hardly. Hmm. What are you staring at? They're expecting a baby. You must be thrilled. I'll tell Michael you stopped by. Mm -hmm. It was very nice meeting you, Eve. I hope to see you again. Very soon. What is it about him? Why do I get this?
would seem that you're as curious about me as I am about you. I was just making sure that you were gone. Unfortunately, you're not. Oh. Well, give me a chance here. I'm sure if you got to know me, you'd find I'm not the monster my brother makes me out to be. I'm just... How do they say it? Misunderstood? Well, I'm not. And I'd like you to leave. Just a regular guy with a lot of great qualities. Kids, for instance. I just love them. I know all about you. I know you desecrated the monastery. And I've seen what you've done to Michael. I'm not afraid of you. Eve, Let Eve. go of me! What is wrong with you? Where'd you get that necklace? None of your business. My brother gave it to you, didn't he? <sighs> Give Michael my compliments. I'm sorry if I upset you. I'll go now. So you gave her the family crest to protect her. But I'll figure a way. I'm almost done. You can say that again. Gabriella, I thought I could catch you on your cell, but I guess not. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for snapping at you earlier. I would explain, but uh, I'd really rather do it in person. So give me a call and let me know when we can get together. I'm at work. Okay. Dr. Pingra, 5542. Hey, sis. Dr. Pingra, Missed you at the family dinner last night. I was busy. Let me guess. You the new guy in your life? What I do on my own time is my business. What's with you, Gabby? You've gone from being this incredible loving sister to someone I don't even know anymore. I really don't have time for this. Why are you turning away from us? We're your family. We care about you. Was it something we did? Is that something you found out about? What would I have found out about? Forget it. It's nothing. Dr. Martinez? Hey, Ian. I'm still waiting to hear the rest of the story. What story is that? How about the guy who likes Eve? I mean, he's actually moved in with you guys? For the moment, yeah. So who is he? The man who married us. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. The priest? Yeah, the priest, but there's something off about him. Off how? Not sure. So I had him checked out, and that's how this whole argument started. You want to know what I think? I really don't. I think Eve has every right to be angry. Is that so? Come on, Father Michael is her friend. I mean, and for you to be jealous. Jealous? Yeah, I'm, who's jealous? I'm not jealous. Aren't you? No. I'm concerned. He gave her his family crest for protection. And that's why you're upset? Bad, and I don't like the way he looks at her. Come on, Ian, the guy's a priest. I, I mean, I seriously doubt that he has the hots for a newly married expectant mother who I know as her best friend is very much in love with her husband. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You think I'm just being an idiot? I think you should go home. Make up with Eve and put all this behind you. I can't. I'm working. You know, it's kind of slow right now. We can handle it. It's just trying to protect her. You know that. I know. Go home. All right. Go. Dr. Chin to cardiology. Dr. Ronald Chin to cardiology. Come on, Jack, pick up. Where are you? 
I'm gonna say this one last time. Stay away from my daughter. You want me to stay away? Fine. I'll stay away. Only if you promise me you'll take her home and tell her about Caitlin. Oh, I'm gonna do that right away. Sure. Livy, I'm sorry to tell you, but there's a vampire on the loose, and he's after you. Doc, I still believe that a vampire existing is very Lucy. possible. Lucy! Look, we know it's hard to believe. Look, I didn't believe it myself at first. Dr. Collins, please, just let me talk to her. Tell her what's going on. Convince her to go home with you. Yes, Doc, that's a, that's a good idea. You get to take Livy home, and Jack just gets to tell her. What have you got to lose? What I have to lose is my daughter to a serial killer, not Count Dracula. Now, she stays where she is, and that's final. You're making a big mistake. Just, just let him go. He, he can't get to Livy anyway. Well, I'm not taking any chances. Duff. Hey! Open this door! I'm coming, Livy. I'm coming. Let's hold on. Hey! You hungry? How about something to eat? Not talking. It's just exactly what your father used to do when he'd get mad at me. I guess it's genetic. Livy, I know you're upset, but this is for your own good. You know, actually, yeah, I am. I am getting a little bit hungry. Good. What, what, what can we get you? How about some pizza, but not from the cafeteria hospital, from the pizza shack. Pizza shack. Do they deliver? No, but it's right across the street. You can just go and pick it up. Livy, I don't know. I, I... Oh. What am I going to do? Where am I going to go? There's a guard right outside this door. And besides, I could use some time alone to figure some stuff out. Please? All right. I'll send somebody to bring you back some pizza. I can't leave you here alone. I can't believe my father's doing this. I'm coming, Olivia. With me, you'll be safe. No. No. Stop. Talking to me. Libby, I, I didn't say anything. No, I want Jack. He is the only one who can help me. God, Jack, please. Please help me. Please help me. Agent Moore in Dr. Collins' office. Yes, hurry up. Thank you. Doc, Doc, it's okay. They're, they're on their way. They're hurrying. Calm down. It's all right. Look, Dr. Collins, you have nothing to worry about. Jack loves Libby. He would never hurt her. Really, he, he just wants the same thing you want, Dr. Collins, just, just for her to be safe. He knocked me across the room and locked us in here. One thing I've learned in this line of work, you don't know what anyone's capable of. Come on! Stop trying to fight it, Olivia. Libby, sweetheart, are you all right? I know it's me that you want. My touch that you crave. You know it, too, don't you? Hey, you can't go in there. Libby! Jack! Libby! Jack! Please help me! Help me! I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. Good Lord! How in the world did you... Thank God, Jack, I prayed for you to come. You are I gotta let you alone. No. Can you get me out of here, please? My dad has gone crazy. Jack, please, leave her alone. She needs to be kept safe. No, Kevin thinks this place is safe, but it's not. What are you get saying? Get out of here, please. Don't try to stop us. Don't try to stop us. Come on, stop. needs help, Ramsey. Oh, Could agree more. Where is he? Doc! I've got a good wait idea. Wait a minute. Doc, wait! Are you still here? Signing out as we speak. Good. Smart man. I'm gonna go home and try to make it up to Eve. She'll let me. I have a feeling that won't be a problem. Huh. Oh, if you get busy again, huh? call someone else. Dr. Foster to pharmacy. 
Dr. Frank Foster to pharmacy. Hey, you. Nothing. I was just thinking about you and about how good it is with us. Really? Well, what a coincidence. Okay, I'll be there as soon as I can. Oh, and Frank, I love you. It's okay now. Calm down. He's gone. Calm down. No. No. I'm so sorry. When he came through that door, I guess I just froze. It's all right, Victor. You couldn't have stopped him any more I than that guard could. I still can't believe it. He tore that lock out of a solid steel frame. He's been making a habit of tearing things apart. Which means he's out of control, and now he has my daughter. We will find them. I've already find got them. people working on it. Can I keep an eye out for him, If you hear anything, call us right away. Come on, let's okay. Call me, too. Hey, Victor, can you, can you take Allison home to stay with us? Absolutely. Him? What? Look, I can cover a lot more ground No, myself. I want to come with you. Allison, listen to me. Okay, I don't want to have to worry about you. And Caleb's probably out there somewhere, not very happy. Your mouth's right, Ali. Come on. But it just. But look, 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 look. Just, just, just. Come on. Look, we're wasting time right now, okay? Please. Okay, all right. It's fine. But be careful and bring them home okay, safe. Okay, okay. Dr. Yeah, hey. Um, I need to know how much tranquilizer it would take to bring down a wild animal. Just the guy I was looking for. Okay. Your brother did this to you, didn't he? Oh, he was here earlier. What? You, you didn't invite him in? Did no, you? of course not. What happened? Nothing. Nothing. He just. He was looking for you. There's something else. No, there's nothing else. Did he hurt you? No. No, he didn't. It's. Just what? It was the way he looked at me. And the way he talked about the baby. The baby? I'm sorry. Michael, I, I know I, I'm just a little hypersensitive right now. It's just that your brother really scared me. He still scares me. We should keep looking for them. We have looked everywhere for them. They're nowhere to be found. That means they don't want to be found. I know they don't want to be found. It's because he turned her against no, me. Mom, I knew from the beginning that that kid was trouble, and I should have kept her He's away from him. He's not trouble. He wants her to I be I swear, safe. if anything happens to her, I'm... Oh, my gosh. All I wanted to do is bring her home. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Poor Charles, Tainted Love. Poor Charles. I want you out of our lives, starting right now. There's some things you need to know about Caleb and about me. I said off! You have no idea who you're dealing with. In Pine Valley, it's all about Erica Kane and her world. On SoapNet, it's all about you. Coming up next is All My Children on SoapNet, devoted to soaps and you.